Hello everyone, Attack Power here with Game 3 between Farid Rommel and Yu Yu for the finals of the Division 2 Steel Division 2 League. Let's dive right in. Alright, so we're here on Bober with Farid Rommel over here on red side with 97th Strelke once again. On that Maverick income. And on the left here, we have Yu Yu in the blue playing 50 second Sichlings once again on V for victory. If you guys did not check out game one or two, make sure to check out those links above to go check those out so you're not spoiled. But spoilers incoming here. Yu Yu has won both games one and two, so Fairy's life here is on the line in this best of five. He's got to win this one or he will be done and Yu Yu will be crowned the champion. So we're rooting for Fairy to see more awesome play. I gotta say, I, I know Yu's not doing it on purpose, but it almost feels rude because he keeps playing divisions that are generally considered quite... Not, not super strong. Uh, Lukma, depending on the map, he played Armia Krajoeva, you know, not really a strong division. And now 52nd Sikrun, which is considered quite a bad division overall. Um, 97th being one of the best divisions in the game. So, yeah, uh, Farid definitely has the stronger matchup here in terms of units. Zooming down here to Yuyu, he's got some... Um, uh, I'll, I'll just do my guess here. Flax Rupin, Tar Savoru, uh, MG42 off Claire, 50 millimeter, Fel Jaeger, Pack 36, and IG 290. Is that 290? Yeah. Uh, continuing Pack 36, more off Claire, another 50. Uh, Fel Jaeger again, which is like that sniper leader troop guy. Flax Rupin, the Tar Savonori, Noriu, something like that. Sturm Pioneer, and more Flax Rupin. Then we have an MG42, Tar Savonori. Oh my god, and off Claire, apologies. And uh, Sturm, uh, Sturm Pioneer, 50 mil, FAC 36, and more TARS here. We're just calling them TARS. That's what they are now. Uh, and then we have off Claire, IG 290, Sturm Pioneer, more TARS, Pandvenichtung, uh, Sichrungs, MG 42, and another PAC 36. Over here for uh, Farad, starting out on the south here, we have double sniper, Ognim and Cheeky, double those, Tanko, Desaniki, Maxim. OB25, Gavardi DP, T3476, Razvedka, and an IS1 Komroti. Then we have Ognemachiki, Maxim, T34, Razvedka going in the center. Ognemachiki, and all the way up north, we have a sniper, some Ognemachiki, Maxim, Gavardi DP, some Tanko Desaniki, and a T3476. So this should definitely be quite interesting. In terms of divisional matchup, 97th is quite a crushing division compared to 52nd Sikrung. Just like you should crush that like button and consider subscribing for more Steel Division 2 awesome content. If you love the channel, hit up that Patreon for more cool perks and to support. Thanks a bunch, guys. Here we go. All right. I, I am fascinated to see 52nd Sikrung go here. A division that gets no armor in A phase and only a card of Panther Ds in B phase until you finally just get Panthers and Yagpanzer Force in C phase. Um, piles of technically crappy infantry with a couple of elite units. Uh, 97th on the other hand, a really nice mix of strong Russian infantry. Uh, obviously the IS-2 and other tanks like that. Uh-oh, we're having a drive-by here. Ooh, the Verdicting and the Sturm Pioneer do get out. Maxim goes down. I'm going to cheeky do unload, but a little late. They could have actually done quite well here, but the double sniper should keep this quite safe. Although the IG-290 already hitting up that OB-25. Tanko's coming. In. Ooh, OB-25 already dead. Up north, we don't see any real push here. So let's keep on the action down here. Oh, the Tankos die in the transport. Why would he unload them? Oh, man. Vardy DP did get out there. Sikrun's uh, the Felgier are doing so much damage. Falker Wolf, 190 bomber coming in. F8, these are really quite solid. Ooh, nice bombing strike there. Takes out the sniper. Here comes the T3476, though. Uh, there is only a pack 36 here for AT. And uh, while it looks really good, it's actually only 65 millimeters of penetration. And here comes that IS-1. That thing should be invincible, although we have the Pens of a Nicktoon, which will be very, very, very dangerous. Probably just in range. Down south, tank uh, M M2A1 taking out that Kubel MG. Tar catching up with the Ognem Chibi, but the Ognem Chibi is in range. Puts a nice shot on those. These Tars are really quite good for only uh, 15 points. This is at above rate. Technically, this is what an Urzat Trooper would be, uh, but this has AT and um, another guy and Raider and is not disheartened. So, I mean, these guys are technically super above rate. And they're still a 15-point infantry, but they are extremely above the average curve. Uh, Panzerbedicktu is going to poke its head out here and probably kill off this T-34-76 Radvedka. Not going to be much to do about it. He's just too close. Unless the Gavardi GDP catch it out, but I don't think they're going to. 
Here it comes. Did the Gavardian notice? They did not. T-34 is backing up. Wow. I don't know. Oh, he saw it from over here. What a catch. Farad on the micro there. Very nice. We have a Tar pushing up on this hill, catching up these tankos. Fortunately, Farad is not paying attention over here. Uh, getting pinned down by that 50 mil mortar. Agni Machiki does force off the Tar. Here, Gavardia DP doing some nice damage. These guys should definitely dominate, although MG42 now in position as well. IS-1 takes a side penetration, I believe. Oh, yeah. Takes a major side penetration from the Pac-36, although maybe actually it, it fired a heat shell, maybe. Doesn't look like it fired anything. I do wonder what did all that damage. It has to be. It's gotta be the... How much armor does this thing have? Yeah, it would not even pen from the side, so it must have either been the rocket from the Pac-36, or that's it, basically. He actually got a rocket hit onto this thing with that pack 36. That's insane. I'm really upset I missed that. Very much, very many apologies for that one. T34 at 76 trying to take out this IG290. Kind of important actually. Needs to take out that uh, HE support here. Now the OB's on it as well. So this should be the end of the road for that IG290. I'm not sure how that thing is moving and firing so quickly. Wow, that thing just shoots fast, I guess. 12 rounds a minute. It's nothing like abnormally special. OB25. Oh, takes a face shot 50 mil mortar over here doing lots of suppression damage vernicton gets forced off tar as well maxim in position now probably gonna get hit yep by that 50 mil and get forced off bell digger in position although fair grabbing this flag bringing himself to a 13 11 this is tough though he really needs to be able to grab this little bridge flag here it's not a super hard cap flag to capture these Fulshamjäger Sturmpioneers doing quite well, despite being probably one of the worst variations of this unit, uh, because you have rifles instead of submachine guns, and truthfully, you want them fighting in CQC. So, me personally, I think this is actually the worst iteration of the like Sturm Pioneer esque units. I'd prefer just a normal one with submachine guns. Fifty mil gonna take out that Maxim. Nice kill there. They're not usually killers, so. Flak Troopin pushing forward. These are big, chunky 15-man, 15 15-man, 15 15-point 15 squad. So, I mean, they're big. They're like mega ersatz. Here comes that Fokka Wolf again. Just flying? I don't see a target yet. Interesting. I've already DP moving in here. Yeah, Ferry's got to hold that. No reason to lose that. Yu once again at a 13-11 here. Gavardi DP forced off because that Feldjäger sniper is so good. OB-25 does get killed off. IL-2 coming in with its four 50-kilogram bombs. Will it get the job done on this MG-42? It does not. Ugh, that's a, that's a shame. Very frustrating. Falkwolf finally chooses a target up here. Deciding to hit that tanko and wipes it out. I think that's got a 250 kilogram bomb, so it does a nice bit of damage. Gavardia pinned down again. These 50 memoirs are just so gross. They're only good if you are extremely good at micro, and if you're not, they're absolute trash. If you're good at micro, though, oh my god, they're disgusting. Uh, T-3476 does go down to that Pentaver, uh, Pentaver does die for its troubles, but I would say that's 100% worth a trade. MG42 back up and running again. IS-1 being held quite a bit ways back now, so now it's not even helping out. Really kind of needs to push that forward, but now the Pac-36 is in range. It needs 750 meter range for this thing. Uh, that's the only way it's killing this IS-1. But if it's in range, it certainly can. 50 mil trying to pin more stuff down. Gavardi DP hitting that Pac-36, so that, that's a nice kill there. He needs that. Let's his T-34 kind of do what he wants. Max, I'm probably going to go down here to the 50 mil. This one? Here it is. Oh, last shell. Oof. Buried catching no breaks yet. Uh, needs to push forward a little bit to, to re-grab this flag. You on a 13-11 that he doesn't really deserve at the moment. Spared hasn't noticed this. I say doesn't deserve. It's just kind of because he's got a really cheeky flag. Oh, man. This 50 mil is just carving him. Agnem and Cheeky catching out the TARS. Machine gun from the Razv uh, T-34 also doing some nice damage. HE taking out those MG-42s. Needs to kill these support weapons. Yu is just making so much better use of his support weapons right now than Farad. Agnem and Cheeky, can they finish it off? TAR is still alive. It lost a man. Shoot! Agnem and Cheeky's out! Alright, he got it. Ooh! Barely. Oh no. He's driving right by the Sturm Pioneer. But it does not reach its flame. Tanko gonna get into this forest now. Now he's got a nice force here on the hill, and he's deciding to push. We've got seven minutes in to use income advantage. Farad 
on the bonus again. So he's doing quite well, actually. He's ticked down UU a bit. So nice. Good for him. He's looking a little weak up north now, though. Is Pantovanictum going to be able to kick out this T-34? Once that goes down, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. I was about to say a little bit, but probably more like a lot. Tar taking a lot of damage. M2A1 can easily hold off these Flax Rupin, but once this Pack 36 and Vernuktun get in range, it's going to be ugly. M2A1 goes down, is unable to take out anything, really. They do take out the MG42, though. That's really nice. Pack 40 now in, though. The Pack 40 can technically pen this IS-1, especially because it's using APCR. Oh, but it's bouncing. At this range, it's tough. The OB-25 also doing damage. IL-2 finally taking out that Feldjaeger. APCR gets... A crit transmission. Ooh, IL-2 goes down. Other one, I'm not sure what it takes out. Flak 36 now in, but the Plak 40 goes down. He's only got three of those nae so He's got to be careful. That's one down already. IS-1 now kind of unkillable at the moment, unless one of these Pack 36s can get in range, but Fair being a lot more careful now. Tar goes down. Uh, his infantry getting chunked by these IG-290s, though. Here comes an OB, though, trying to answer the call. Can the IS-1 take out that MG-42? Here comes a sniper as well. It can do a lot of damage. Oh, finish it off. There it is. MG42 finally goes down. Gavardi pushing off these flak troop and Ognimichigi, though, getting caught out. He's going to die. Here comes that Faka Wolf. Uh, Farid just, it, just like last game, he just kind of like not. I mean, Farid did call AA at the beginning of the game last game, but then just didn't call more in as the game went on. Uh, looks like the Panzer went down, so that's a nice kill. But the M2A1s are the only things holding this line at this point. Uh, we do some Gavardi and a T34 coming in, but he, he just doesn't call an AA, it doesn't appear. He has a 37 mil down south. Okay, I shouldn't say he calls in none, because he definitely has some. These IG-290s are just doing so much damage. Uh, Farid's desperately trying to kill these off with his OBs and IG IS-1s. But the 290 is going to get the first shot off on the OB, and the first one to shoot in these fights is really, really, really favored. Yep, OB taking a big chunk of damage. He's going to get a nice hit on the 290, but now he's going to go down. Losing those OBs is really bad, actually. Focke Wolf on... Too far for it. Oh, takes out the T-34-76. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Pack 40 coming in here to seal that up. And this is bad. Ferret is pushed off this hill. Once you're pushed off this hill, you're in a lot of trouble. As long as the T-34 keeps facing the correct direction, it should be very safe from this Pack 36. Although the IG-290 is putting out so much HE damage, it might just straight kill it. Vardy has no chance against this army of Tars. Fogger will still floating around. I'm not sure what it's doing. T-34 takes a hit from the pack, uh, Flak 39R here. Should go down as long as that Flak can hit again. We're now into B phase, so now Farid needs to take advantage of his income. Uh, loses that T-34. Losing some key units here. T-34 does get forced off and doesn't kill off that IG-290. And, and uh, Yuyu has a dominating position up north here. A lot of trouble. A lot, a lot of trouble here for Farid up north. Takes out the Pack 36 though. AT getting light down south. Pack 40 though, definitely a dangerous entity here. Gavardia is going to drive and die into this Pack 40. Tango's Gavardia pushing over the river here. So it looks like uh, looks like Farid is getting a nice push here. Nice opening. Pack 208, 57 mil. This is a uh, Zis 2. That's what this is. That is what this is. And at long range, though, it cannot do anything, this IS-1. IS-1, though, gonna run out of HE cells soon here, and it's not helping any infantry out. Gavardia do manage to render some stuff, so that's nice. Oh, that Pack 36 rocket missing. Those are not very accurate. But it's gonna get another shot. Fair didn't notice it happening. Down it goes. Pack 40 now on the hill, killing both these T-34s. Fair kind of has a bad habit of throwing T-34s at problems, and I, it doesn't work out very often. Unfortunately, even with this big... Oh, once again, what the heck? How is he not seeing this? Oh, they have Raider. The Raider gives them exceptional... Uh, oh, it's very good stuff. Usually it's exceptional. Um, stealth makes them very hard to spot, especially because Yuzu keeps throwing them on return fire. Uh, this is a very frustrating little thing here for Farad. Missing out a lot of points. You use able to steal a lot of points doing this. Apologies for the moving around. Couldn't decide where to go. Here comes the infantry, but the pack 40 on the hill now, and this is the problem with losing this northern hill, is you can just set stuff up and just overlook this. And unless you have some sort of arty or something to start driving these guys out, it's a tough road. Tankos take out something that pushed in here, probably just a sick or something of the like. Focke bombing very far forward in the line, 
keeping it out of the range of the 37 mils. IS-1 does go down. Looks like the Pac-36 did get in range and killed it. Oh. Oh, that's so bad. That's so, so not good at all. Strafniki should be able to absolutely chunk these TARs. There we go. There's some damage. But Yu Yu's just, it's just an inexorable push. He's a tide with these, like, junk infantry divisions. And he, does, he doesn't vet them or anything. Like, this secret wing has a vet. That's about it. <laughs> you know, in terms of infantry, he just pours them in. They fell upon him like water on a mountain. Oh, right, sorry. Rain on a mountain. Strafniki trying to do something here. Oh, no, it's an SG-43. OB-25, this is definitely a good call, using the support. Fulsham Jaeger is very dangerous. Strafniki can rumble, but certainly not with this cover differential. Here comes that Focke-Wolf, and there is no way A to be found over here. So, goodbye to something like this SG-43, which was one of the only things that could stop this freaking Pack 40 And boom. Oh, oh, and a Studebaker goes down with what I believe was a Strafniki. Oh, oh my god. This is so hard to watch. Is this two now? Oh, kills a Resvan Kador. Oh, those are so good. Oh, man. Oh, Ferret got one house. One house, and he, there's no way he's not seeing it. Just perfectly positioned MG42s and everything from here from UU. IL-2 trying to solve the problem, but unfortunately, the Pack 40 was already suppressed, which allowed it to r fall back, meaning it did not die. Ugh. Oh, good God. Nothing really going right here for Fair. He's still got six minutes of B-phase, though, so still plenty of time to pile up the advantage and, and push hard. MG-42 taking on that Resvedkador as it just tries to take out Flak Troop, and so definitely not going to go great. But with UU on this hill and stuff, this is a rough spot to be in. 37 coming in. Got Tar Snipers as well for UU coming in. Gavardia really not super good. I'm surprised he decided to bring Gavardia in an A at all. This is basically his worst worst infantry unit. 37 mil in. Will stop that Focke Wolf F8 this time. Here comes an IS2. I mean, this is definitely a this is definitely the right idea. There's really nothing in uh, you use deck that can really kill this thing. Although I think it has a Focke Wolf with an AT rocket, I believe. But I think that's it. Fulcher Mayor eating up these SG-43s and stuff. Ugh. So good. When Fulcher Mayors are expensive, they should be so good. They, they cost the same as a light tank, for goodness sake. Pioneer takes out those Gavardia. And Tankos can't seem to get a hold of this flag. Double Maxim losing out against M double MG42, which they should always. IS2, boom. Oh, and it misses. Oh, face palm, dude. Come on. Actually, this is the, the. I think because it's switching ammunition, it's firing faster. It seems to be firing incredibly fast. That looks a lot more normal of a reload speed. I think that ammo switch somehow caused it to, like, fire faster. Can't be sure. I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments I'm wrong, but something about that fired really fast. Oh, this IS-2 dropping the ball, missing. It doesn't fire fast enough to miss. <laughs> like, you really can't suffer it missing. SG-43 trying to hold the line down. IS-2... I mean, it's doing damage, but he needs some sort of 2K HE here, desperately. I see just not doing it. 132, and this is the off map. This is the rocket off map. The doom of dooms. Basically, everything on this hill should be deleted, and he might actually be able to get back in here. Here comes a 122 artillery piece. Good call from Ferret. He needs to start getting these things. He is not trading well down south at all, though. And remember, the thing is, too, other than the Falsham Jaegers, every unit that you calls in is basically only 20 points. And most of the units Ferret's calling in is... Generally more than 20, although these Tankos and Gavardia are only 20. Uh, Gavardia DP, though, are 25. And, of course, these heavy tanks that are getting killed are far more than that. IL-2. He doesn't even have bombs. What's he doing? He's, oh, he's just going for the... Nice. Very nice move there. Here it is. 
Everything dies. Everything's not dead yet. Somehow it's all, some stuff is still alive. Ferret is getting horrendously unlucky that this MG42 is still not dead. Okay, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be livid. There it is. Okay, it's dead. Leader survived though. Ah, it just keeps coming. God, I forget how disgusting that is. All right, can he, is he following it up with two Sapodies, which are going to get stopped by this Cichlidoon right here? Oh, no. All right, we got T-34-75 uh, coming in. Oh, no. Oh, no. He can't even follow it up. He erased the hill and he can't get on it. And now the secret rings are going to kill the other one. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. This, too, finally goes down to the IS-2. There's still no HE, big HE coming in. This 122 is chilling in the transport. That is a, that's an attack power move if I've ever seen one. That is an attack power move if there's ever been one. 50 mil mortar firing like 20 feet at this Resvecador. Manages to generally dodge it, but it's too busy shooting at this stupid flak troop and to go after it. Sudabaker going down with a Strafniki inside. I think he got out in time. It does have a transmission damage here on this IS-2. Not great. More MG-42s, though, coming in. This is this 2 about to go down. IS-2 doesn't finish the job on that. Has managed to grab this flag here, so that's a plus. MG-42s, though, in strength down here, just crushing these infantry. I, I, does he not have any HE, like 2K HE? Does 97th not have anything? Feels like most of these Russian divisions have something 2K HE. But the infantry already pouring back onto the hill. His big push here wasted these 160 points for a single off map that he couldn't even follow up. Not that he didn't try, but he just was stopped. Oh, that is that's heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. 122 finally firing. These are not super good. Pretty inaccurate. More SG-43s. I'm surprised he's calling him in up here and not down here where he could be trying to counter these MG-42s with them. IS-2 about to run out of ammo and from there it's just going to be sitting there until C phase, which we have just entered into this C phase here. With Farid pretty severely on the back foot. Yeah, you use in a pretty dominating position despite Farid getting over 800 points more than him. Well, it's really 600, I guess, with the A phase, but having 600 more points on the map. Ugh. Uh, now he... Oh, and Farid called an off map. Stop it, Farid. You wasted 330 points on this garbage. Ugh. Barf. Why, Farid? Why must you... Why must you drink the off-map Kool-Aid? Garbage. I hate them and they're actively not actually that good. Like, just think of the fact that he, like, 370 points that didn't actually do very much. Like, like yeah, sure, the rocket thing killed a couple things. Great. You could have killed us a couple things with some actual units that could then go do something. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Here comes the 152. I mean, dropping it here would definitely be nice. It'll kill stuff, I'd think. The 152 being pretty effective. Now we have a uh, 75 mil. These are really good. They fire super fast. They're a step off of mortars, really. Is he? He's going for yeah. He's going for the Zenart. Focke-Wolf so deadly, so effective. All right, here comes the off map. Machine guns are pinning down the MG42s though. Like I said, this is what I kind of thought he would do originally. And this off map's not going to do much. I really thought he would put it more over here. So really disappointed. And once again, this is the issue with off map. You don't put it right, then you've even wait you've wasted even more than your points. IL2 coming in, going after that secret wings. Straf Niki have been broken down. There's a flak 36. That's been moved up pretty far. 
Isle 2 does what it needs to do, pins that down. With the 50 kilogram bombs, you can't expect it to, like, wipe an infantry squad or anything. Sometimes it'll kill a support gun, but that's about it. And Farrah just kind of marching his troops. Here comes the off map, the 152. We have a FK-288, which is the ZIS-3 with a radio, making it way better at... Oh, 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 <laughs> that was cheeky. That was very, very cheeky by you, you. And I don't even think this Fockel is going to die. These things are so hard to kill. They're very frustrating. I don't think the 37 mil has had enough time on target. Nope. 152 doesn't really do much, quite frankly. FK is a good call here because it does a nice HE damage. Already taken out one of those SG-43s. IS-2 getting some more HE shells to work with, so that's definitely good. T-3485 died to the pack, uh, the ZIS-2, essentially. So that's really bad. Wow. If you just look, despite, you know, technically, again... Ferret has had almost 400 more points at this point still over UU, and it, it, it's astonishing the difference in troops on board here. Really, really is. IS-2 still presents a brick wall here for UU, though. I mean, he cannot get through that. None of his AT will be able to do that. His already can definitely do it. The Panthers really don't do it at range. Uh, and this is the IS-2, which one is it? This is the 44 variant, so it, it, it the Panther cannot kill this thing at range. Uh, up close, sure. Sure, it can get the job done, but it's probably not going to get up close. But there ain't my... Oh, and here comes uh, Yu-Yu going for an even more... Going to push even more. All we have here is a Zis-3 coming up for Farad. Oh, this is not looking good. Now, Ferret on a, I mean, uh, Yu Yu on a 15 9 now, too. Second off map coming in once again, just basically missing. There's no other way to describe it. Move that IS 2 to dodge the smoke. So, nice move there. Using that smoke now to try to smoke off this IS 2 because you really can't kill it, like I said. Here's the Fock Wolf flying right into the 37 mil. Does manage to force that off. So, bully for the 37 mil actually doing what it's supposed to. Sapodique trying to take out these TARs. They will... Oh no, they're reloading. They must have killed something else off, so they don't have the TNT available. Oh, now he's, he's just making push there. He actually put his infantry back into the half track. I love it. Never do... I never do that. <laughs> I really should from time to time. 81 mil mortar doing some nice damage here. Actually, this is the uh, FK-288 I lied. Like I said, really good call in there for its dual duality. Although, it's obviously not killing IS-2 or anything, but... this 2 doing nothing? Question mark? I'm not sure what it's... Oh, it's on efficient shot. So, since it doesn't have really any chance to pen this IS-2, it's just not firing. Because he's got an efficient shot. Maxim gets pinned momentarily and then unpins itself. Panzergren does get pinned now by the SU-85. Maxim needs to... Oh, well, no, he's, he's running. He's falling it back instead. Sapperty pinned down here. Tar is pushing forward every there's just a sapperty and some support weapons here trying to stop it. Already going across the map here. 82 mil mortar. Better late than never, I guess. Going after this flak. Already going after the AA now. Oh, there's the Fockable with the rock. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Wow, that's unfortunate. That's a, that's so that's so sad. And now the arty party is really going to town with the 75s and the FK 288s being basically arty pieces at this point. SDK has had 251s pushing forward. There's not much to stop them. Razvedkador goes down. Here comes the waves of TARS. Off map. Oh, and Farad throws in the towel. Understandable. I mean, he was he was out. He was very out of that game. You you really, really schooled him that one. Uh, 2665 to 1615 there with the kills. Uh, great game to you, you winning Division Two League Season Nine. Commiserations here to Farad. Tough match for him. You uh, use probably more of a Division One player though. I would say pretty confidently. Um, you know that's a really hard that's a really hard matchup. The 132 not even close to worth it. 
And I think the I think the riverboat off maps even less worth like off maps even less worth it in this in this matchup because it's just all like garbage units you're killing. So you're not even like getting very much value. You, like the riverboat actually kills stuff. Like this off map you buy because you actually want to kill things. Uh the other off map you kind of often buy just to suppress and to take ground. This thing is supposed to just wipe an area out. So, you know. What are you wiping out, though? That's the problem is you're not wiping out big targets like there's not a lot of expensive stuff to kill in 50 second. So this is just not a great unit, I think, in this matchup. Uh, Pans of Nicktoons. Oh, my God. Absolutely carved. Even a whole bunch of infantry. My goodness. Probably in the transport, but still. Baka Wolf 190 getting an airplane kill and some other stuff. Pack 36 here, killing a T32 T3476 is overperforming. Holy bajoli. Pack 40 getting lots of skills. MG42 cleaning up. Yeah, just just a really dominating performance here by Yu Congratulations to him. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting on Patreon for more Steel Division 2 content. Thanks a bunch and have a fantastic day.